this is really a slow cook process you can see you can see the oats just starting to swell slowly cooking once I extract the honey and I'll show you uh, that's my extractor there and here is a couple of boxes that have extracted the honey from and once I extract uh, the honey I just leave it here and then next season what I'll do now I'll just take these boxes up and give them to the bees and so uh, this is a bee excluder so I just keep that on there most of these frames have been extracted but I know there's one frame in here uh, which I think is this frame here there you go here's a frame of honeycomb that will take a a little piece of that and just see if it's still yes yeah, it's still um, yeah let's take a little bit for ourselves I'm just gonna cut a little piece out of here you won't use all of it now but we'll take a little piece out of here okay. there we go oh, that should be enough to sweeten my porridge uh, just put that back in there most of these frames as you can see this frame has been extracted um, and next year what I'll do I'll just put this back in the beehive and the bees will fill that and we extract it again so this is where I just keep this box with the honeycomb and when I need a piece I just come down and and uh, take a, a little piece for myself the porridge is starting to bubble so let's have a look here yeah I think we're almost there now that looks good so here we have some of the cinnamon here we have some of the cinnamon uh, bark that's a thick one Another one here. So all this has been cooking down in the porridge. Just make sure there's nothing sticking to the bottom. So just I use a wooden spoon uh, to get this. Get this done. You can see my spoon is worn out because you know we use it all the time, um, so we don't scratch our pots or you know that kind of thing. So there's nothing sticking at the bottom so we'll give this about another 10 minutes I think and I think we'll be ready to have some oat porridge. So here we go to prepare. Now this is the honey. Um, I cut an extra bit of the honey uh, comb. Uh, to put in my porridge but as I said I I like banana in my porridge so I'm gonna cut some banana here put in my porridge um, fruits fruit and porridge you can put banana you can put pear you can put apple you can put berries and then of course the magic how to sweeten your porridge I cut a piece of the honeycomb here well you know that's now this is actually golden rod honey so I put that in my porridge take a little little bit more there we go and I'm gonna 
put that, cut that up in here, put it at the bottom, and just mix up my porridge. Banana, oats porridge, and honeycomb. So this is what, so this is what um, porridge has to do with being a beekeeper. Um, I put honey rather than sugar in uh, most of my um, items that I eat, most of the food that I eat, because I think honey is good for you. Uh, not too much, of course. Everything in moderation, of course. Um, and so. Mm. Slow cooking the porridge is the best. Don't speed it up. Put it at number two, leave it there to cook until it starts bubbling and then you know that it's ready. Let me know what you, th let me know what you think. If you have tried this, um, if you have tried honeycomb in your porridge or on your waffles or your toast, let me know how you uh, how you consume uh, honeycomb, and try the recipe. Try you know try try oats porridge. It's good for you.